Hey everyone, this is Zach with 8020 Media, here today with a video on the most common GM LS2 engine problems. The GM LS engines are nearly synonymous with reliability, and the LS2 is really no exception here. It is truly a very reliable engine and a very good engine overall. However, no engine is bulletproof or completely flawless, and that also applies to the LS2, so it still does have a number of small design flaws and issues with the engine. The good news with these engines as well is, since they're so popular and well-known, and there's such a big aftermarket presence on the LS-based engines, there are a lot of long-term proven effective solutions for any known issues or flaws with these engines. So while it does have a couple issues, fortunately there are well-known solutions and long-term fixes. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump in and discuss the most common problems with the GM LS2. Number one on the list, we have the harmonic balancer. The harmonic balancer, also known as the crankshaft damper, connects to the crankshaft and helps reduce crankshaft vibrations. That's due to the fact that a 90 degree V8 engine is not harmonically balanced, and so you do need a harmonic balancer to help dampen those vibrations and protect the engine from excessive vibrations that would ultimately cause damage and harm to the engine. Unfortunately, on the LS2, this is one of the most common problems. The harmonic balancer is known to wear down and begin wobbling over time and then ultimately break. So not really a huge issue in the grand scheme, but if you're noticing any vibrations, rattling, knocking sounds, rough idle, etc., then a lot of the times it can be due to the harmonic balancer beginning to fail and cause causing those excessive vibrations and rattling. So if you're noticing that, definitely a good time to check out the harmonic balancer and make sure that everything looks good there and otherwise go ahead and get that replaced as soon as possible. Most often, if you catch this issue in time, it really won't cause any other issues or damage to the engine. However, in severe cases, it can actually end up warping the crankshaft, especially if it isn't caught in time and there are excessive vibrations. For extended periods of time, it can warp the crankshaft. But again, this is a very rare and extreme case scenario, but it's still something to be on the lookout for if you suspect you're running into issues with the harmonic balancer. You want to make sure you get that checked out and replaced as soon as possible. Moving on to our second most common problem, we have issues with the rocker arms, more specifically the rocker arm bearings. Problems with the rocker arm bearings have really become more and more well known and more prevalent as the LS2 has continued aging. We are talking about an engine here that's roughly 15 to 20 years old, as it was produced from 2005 until 2009, so this is a little bit of an older engine nowadays. Still a very popular engine, but ultimately as it's aged and continued aging, the rocker arms have become a more well-known weak point and something that really pops up more and more frequently just with the age and mileage on a lot of these LS2 engines nowadays. So when it comes to the rocker arm bearings failing, there are really two different things that can happen within the rocker arms. So number one, the trunnion design is a little bit on the weak side, and that can actually allow the knee bearings to escape into the oil galleys and so that's one thing to really be on the lookout for since obviously you don't want anything like those needle bearings ending up in any oil galleys and then the second common issue with the rocker arm bearings the design does not allow the needle bearings to rotate and pivot around the trunnion so ultimately that leads to uneven wear on the rocker arm bearings and may cause them to fail so again two different kind of issues going on there with the rocker arm bearings that can can cause failure. Now, fortunately, when it comes to rocker arms and rocker arm bearings, these are very, very cheap parts. So if you're ever in the cylinder head doing any other kind of work, either replace those with OEM parts and get everything refreshed in there. Or on the other hand, if you want a more bulletproof solution, there are tons of excellent upgrades, rocker arm kits out there that will address this issue and really give you a much more bulletproof setup moving forward. So just something to consider. Hopefully you don't run into issues with the rocker arm bearings and have to to go in there just for that job. Moving on to the third and final common problem, we have issues with oil starvation. Now, this isn't really something that most LS2 owners will ever really need to worry about. So this is more a testament to the LS2's reliability in discussing something that really shouldn't affect a lot of these engines, but it's definitely a consideration. Unfortunately, the LS2 engine did come with 
wet sump oiling. Wet sump oiling is a cheaper, simpler oiling system in a vehicle. However, it's not ideal for any sort of track days, sustained high G cornering, high revving builds, or anything of that nature. So if you're really looking to track the LS2 or build some sort of drag car with this engine, then oil starvation is something you'll want to consider. There are a couple solutions here if you're planning to do something crazy. Number one, you can add something like an AccuSump, which works much more like dry sump oiling in that you would have an additional reservoir that stores pressurized oil in the instance that your oil pressure drops off and you need that sudden additional oil and pressure then you have the AccuSump there for that. You can also switch to aftermarket oil pan designs that will make oil starvation less likely and then if you're really looking to do a crazy high horsepower high revving or track car build then the ultimate solution to really get the best oiling possible would be actually converting to a dry sump oiling system. So that is going to be a very expensive upgrade, often at least three, $4,000 if you're doing the work on your own, if you're taking it to a shop and having them do the work, add even more money onto the cost of that. So it is very expensive and something that's overkill unless again, you're really going for some sort of extreme build on the LS2. But otherwise for most people, if you're just casually driving this engine on the street, again, oil starvation isn't really a huge concern. And if you do ever find yourself in a situation situation where you want to do a track day or somewhere that you may subject the engine to potential starvation. A good way to prevent that is simply topping up with an extra roughly liter of oil. Having a bit more oil in the engine as well as the oil pan can help prevent any oil starvation for more kind of modest uses for track days or sustained high G cornering. But again, if you're really looking to consistently use the LS2 for extreme builds, then upgrades will definitely be the best route to go to prevent any oil starvation. So in summary of GM LS2 reliability and common problems, I don't want to sound like a broken record here, but the LS2 truly is a very reliable engine. The issues with the harmonic balancer and rocker arm bearings are two minor design flaws that really weren't huge issues in the earlier days of the LS2, but we are now talking about a 15 to 20 year old engine. And so really over the last five, 10 years is, is when these issues have become more prevalent. Some flaws are bound to pop up at higher mileage and so really nothing to hold against the LS2 with these two issues and again both the harmonic balancer and rocker arm bearings have tons of aftermarket solutions that will get you a much more reliable setup for the longer term so something to consider if you either run into these issues or if you're ever in the area and just want to go ahead and knock out that upgrade certainly great things to do and then lastly I talked about oil starvation for a bit which is something that street cars and most LS2 owners shouldn't ever have to worry about other than that again LS2 to incredibly reliable engine. It is a little bit older, so some natural wear and tear age-related problems pop up from time to time, but really nothing to hold against the LS2 and, and something that can be said about any older vehicle and engine. Anyway, guys, that wraps up our video for today. If you appreciated the content, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more. Thanks, everyone.